now give the floor to the International Service for Human Rights. Thank you, Mr. Vice President. The International Service for Human Rights is deeply concerned about the continuing deterioration in the human rights situation in Burundi. Since the beginning of the political crisis, 260,000 Burundians have fled their country, including many prominent human rights defenders. There has been an increase in targeted killings, mass arbitrary arrests, torture and detention. Human rights defenders are paying a high price in this ever worsening situation with restrictions on the rights of, to freedom of expression, association and peaceful assembly, targeted killings and forced exile affecting them directly. Burundian citizens and human rights defenders are paralyzed by fear. The government and military have the responsibility to break the cycle of violence. ISHR also urges the opposition to rein in violence among supporters. Burundian authorities should fully and impartially investigate recent allegations of human rights violations and hold to account all those responsible for human rights crimes. ISHR welcomes Burundi's recent decision to allow the deployment of Human Rights Council mandated experts to Burundi. We we call on the council mandated experts to pay special attention to the critical situation of Burundian hum human rights defenders and their protection needs. Finally, ISHR echoes all the call made by Canada on behalf of a group of states to the elected members of the council in general and the government of Burundi in particular to uphold the highest standard and promote in the promotion and protection of human rights and to cooperate fully with the Council and its mandates and mechanisms. Failure to adhere to such basic standards should precipitate public discussion in this Council as the state's fitness and eligibility of membership with the possibility of referral of the state concerned to the General Assembly for suspension or expulsion from this Council if the necessary undertakings are not given or fulfilled. Thank you, Mr. President.